Hi everyone, I am Shruti Vijayvargi from BISP Solutions. In this video, I am going to create a more advanced 3D scatter plots in R. R has some great functions for generating scatter plots in three dimensions and the scatter plot 3D in a scatter plot 3D package. One of the R's most attractive features is that it allows us to manipulate output and deeply customize graphs. Since colors and trends labels can be input as vectors, you could programmatically use them to represent almost anything. So, for creating a scatter plot 3D, we must install the package scatter plot 3D in R. So, for creating a, a more advanced scatter plot, let's begin with our R Studio. So, the first thing you must have to install your a scatter plot 3d so in my system I've already installed that and now I've already discussed about how to import any file in R so this is my file and I have already imported and attach it to R's memory and now let's uh, begin to create a more advanced scatter plot using the scatter 3d function so for that purpose just go to your file menu and create a new script I've already write it down in a step-by-step -step manner because it is a very long process so the let's say we want to plot a country versus population versus person so in this I'm going to use and another field which is the percent in my database this is my percent okay so for that purpose you have to write this code library scatterplot 3d now with country 10 that means uh, your data where your data is stored so my data is stored in the country 10 now with the curly braces write a scatterplot 3d which is the function of r and uh, it has uh, three arguments necessarily which is the country population percentage for what you want to create your scatterplot and main which will be the title of your plot or the graph now let's run this so your scatterplot will be look like this here is the z axis, here is the x axis, and your y axis. Now, the second step which we have to do let's modify the graph by replacing the points field blue circles and add drop lines to the y plane and create a more meaningful labels. I just copy paste here my already created graph and this i write x lib for naming the x-axis y lib for naming the y-axis and z lib for naming the z-axis and also give the color and pch value to fill uh, the markers and the type edge for the horizontal line so run it so when i run it My graph is created like this but here also you cannot easily identify what is these values and what this is represented in this scatter plot so for more meaningful way let's label the points we can do this by saving the results of the scatter plot 3d function to an object using the xyz dot convert function to convert the coordinates from 3d xyz to 2d projections xy and apply the text function here to add labels to the graph so that it will label our graph and the graph will look like this now the this value is for first second third but 
in this also we don't know which is uh, which country is the first which country is the second so for that purpose as a final step we will add information on the number of pointers or markers and we will add information of the country to uh, to do this we will add a column to the country 10 to the data frame indicating the color for each point so this will be the color for each frame so this this values are the number of mobile users and which i uh, save as a color pointers so for good measure we will shorten the y-axis change the drop lines to dash lines and add a legend legend is what so just run it and see this will be your legend and you can uh, create vectors for the colors and for the country's name and now one will become the china so there are number of mobile users are higher in the china then in the india and then other countries are showing here clearly so how i do it so for that purpose i store these values from the country data into a color and add a legion here in the top left corner and give the title number of mobile users and create two vectors one for the countries and the another vector for the fill the color okay so this is how you can create a scatter plot in r if you have any doubts you can ask me thanks for watching